How's it going everybody and welcome back this is wake run collapse and in today's video i'm going to be opening up 18 japanese booster packs from the black and white 3 expansion that's 10 packs of psycho drive and eight packs of hail blizzard uh, this is going to be a very nostalgic moment for me because although these sets uh, really don't hold up quite as well in terms of variety in comparison to some of the other sets even in the black and white era uh, these are the sets that got me into collecting in the first place i told this story many times but uh, but watching a booster box opening of Hail Blizzard way back in the day, uh, I watched it over and over and over again, and I just had to get some boxes for myself, and, well, the rest is history. So, uh, we're going to start with the Psycho Drive, so I can open up the Hail Blizzard last. Uh, make sure you hit the like button, of course, as always, down below, uh, to show your support for the series. Uh, so, in our first pack, we've got Prism Energy. Uh, then we've got Timber, a Grimer, Minchino. And awesome, a Kyogre EX in the very first pack. Very nice showing. Uh, so, booster boxes back in this era uh, only produced a full art 50% of the time or so. Uh, so, it is going to be difficult to pull one here. So, if Mindshow, a Luxio, a Scraggy, a Swadloon, and a Reuniclus. So I don't really expect to, uh, but I just want to experience this set one more time. Same thing with Hail Blizzard, of course. Uh, so we have Simiseer, a Panseer, Ferrothorn, a Girder, and Luxray is going to be our Hollow. Uh, note the streaky horizontal lines in this holographic card uh, that are reminiscent of the Black and White series just in general. It's pretty much all like that. Uh, last couple of sets were a little bit different, but not too much. Uh, I personally love that style, so this is a great moment for me. Uh, we have Shiftry, a Frillish, Swadloon, a Shinx, and EXP Share. Uh, next one up gives us Persian, such a colorful card. Uh, Staryu, a Duosion, a Scraggy, and Scrafty is going to be the Hollow. Pretty sweet. Uh, something I really like about uh, Hail Blizzard and Psycho Drive in particular is how colorful the cards are. Uh, how well they incorporate different colors to really make the card stand out and be vibrant. And how they put some mons in some really interesting situations to let that come out. Uh, we've got Simipore, uh, another Timber, Cricketot, a uh, Carvana, and a Cinchino as our hollow on this one. Next one up gives us Ferrothorn. Sorry if I said Ferrothorn last time, it's Ferroseed was the other one. Uh, then we've got uh, Solosis, uh, Silwaddle, a Nuzleaf, and another Simipore. Kind of funny, some of these mons just have not been, like, have not uh, been in sets much at all lately. So it's kind of uh, kind of amusing to go back and be like, wow, this card hasn't been in a set in years. Like, I wonder if there's any Pokemon in Black and White 3 that have not been featured in a set since. It's certainly possible. Uh, so we have Level Ball, a uh, Blitzel, Minchino again, a Panpour. Awesome, awesome. I love this Shaman EX. It's a beautiful card. Uh, definitely among my favorite EXs ever. Uh, I think I might actually like the regular EX more than the full art, uh, just to give you an idea. So, oh, that's wonderful. Uh, really excited to get that. Uh, two more packs of Psycho Drive to go, and then we get our eight packs of Hail Blizzard. So, Zib Strika, a Grimer, C Dot, Mian Fu, and a Musharna. And lastly, we have a Sky Arrow Bridge, uh, Muna, a Luxio, Meowth, and a Monkey Simi Seer for the last one. Probably not the way I wanted to go out with Psycho Drive, but you can't help that kind of stuff. Uh, so now we're on a Hail Blizzard, and uh, Hail Blizzard is just such a fantastically nostalgic set in particular because it holds the card that got me into collecting. And that, of course, is the Groudon EX Full Art from Hail Blizzard. Uh, that I watched uh, formerly 
Mr. 5571, sorry, 55771, but now X Paul J, because he hasn't uploaded since, like, Dark Rush came out. Uh, so I watched him pull that in one of his videos, and it just absolutely got me hooked, which is wonderful. Anyways, uh, Pokemon Center, Pikachu, a Sneasel, then we've got a Rayolu, and a Zapdos Hollow. Very nice. I was a fan of getting a legendary and holographic form. And we've got in our next pack a Poudon, a Cub Chew, a Tranquil, I think, a Ralts, and a Simi Sage. Uh, now, I'm not going to come out and say that these pack openings are going to continue to accelerate and go up in size. I'm really just looking for loose packs in the uh, over the course of the next week or so. Uh, looking for loose packs uh, that are going to... Oh, I love Fungus. Um, that are going to be able to contribute to an interesting video. And I felt that these packs are certainly old enough that they would do that. Uh, but it's not like the next video is going to be 30 and then 50 and then 100 and so on and so forth. Uh, it's just kind of worked out that I found some packs that, you know, seem like they would be fun. This is definitely among them. We've got Unpheasant, a Elgium, then we've got Lampent, a Ponyard. Oh my lord. Oh boy. Uh, if this doesn't look special to you, well, it ought to because... That's an ultra rare Embor, baby. That's so fantastic. I'm loving this. Uh, let me see if we can get that cool texture to show up. Like, look at the the way that they did that energy down at the bottom. It's so sweet. Like, and you can see obviously the the textures, the extra colors that are on there. Uh, really, really fantastic job of bringing this card to life, and in general, all the uh, all the ultra rares. Not everything is solid gold, like, this is how they used to do them if you, if you did not open packs back in the day. And this is an extremely fortunate pull, uh, because the Ultra Rares are hard to find. I want to say one in every eight boxes? Or something like that? Because I think there was an Ultra Rare uh, for every three full arts. So I guess that would probably make a little bit of sense. Anyways... Ultra Rare, Shiny Embor, this card is going to be immediately sleeved. Just beautiful. We're going to set that over there <clears throat> and uh, take care of that. Oh, what a nice way to finish out with Hail Blizzard. Uh, Sawsbuck, Darumaka, uh, Deerling, Wigglytuff, and a Bronzong. Uh, again, some of these mons haven't seen in some time. Especially Gen 5, because they're not in Pokemon Go yet. Uh, we've got Heavy Ball here, a Bronzor, Litwick, uh, Curlia, and a Gardevoir Hollow. Nice. Uh, digging that I got the entire Gardevoir family in this one. So two packs to go on Hail Blizzard. I think this is all that I have of Hail Blizzard completely. Uh, so it's a bit of a bummer. we got DCE, Hippopotas, a Vanillish. Petalil and Raichu. This is another one of those really colorful cards that they uh, that they did so well. It's actually a person on the back. That doesn't happen terribly often. Uh, and in our final pack of the video, our final pack of the first set that I ever got into, and we're going to have a Lilligant, Growlithe, Jigglypuff, oh, thank goodness it wasn't a monkey in the last card, and an Unpheasant. So... Uh, lovely stuff all the way around, some some EX action, some hollow action, and obviously the cream of the crop right here with the Ultra Rare Embor. Just loving this, so thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button down below and I will see you guys tomorrow in the next opening.